For many years, technology and medicine have worked in tandem. Pharmaceutical and medical advances have saved and improved millions of lives. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy, or HBOT, is a type of treatment that involves breathing pure oxygen in a pressurized environment. It is a therapeutic procedure used to enhance the amount of oxygen in your body. When you breathe, oxygen enters your body and travels from your lungs to your bloodstream. This mechanism allows oxygen-rich blood to feed all of your body's cells. In the hyperbaric oxygen therapy chamber, they elevate the air pressure around you three times higher than normal. This difference in pressure allows your lungs to absorb significantly more oxygen, increasing the levels in your blood. High amounts of oxygen in the body cause the release of naturally occurring compounds, such as stem cells, which boost the healing process. It also aids in the fight against bacteria and illness in the body. It is usually used to speed up the healing of carbon monoxide poisoning, gangrene, and infections in which tissues are starved for oxygen. The early 20th century saw the introduction of hyperbaric oxygen therapy in the United States. The U.S. Navy adopted the technique once more in the 1940s to treat deep-sea divers who were suffering from decompression sickness. The therapy was applied to the treatment of carbon monoxide poisoning by the 1960s. Scuba divers who are ill and those who can have carbon monoxide poisonings, such as firefighters and miners, are still treated with it today. Additionally, it has received approval for more than a dozen ailments, from bone illness to burns, including cyanide poisoning, crush injuries, acute blood flow in the arteries, compromised skin grafts and flaps, osteomyelitis that doesn't respond to other treatment, delayed radiation injury, necroticizing soft tissue infection, diabetic wounds that are not healing properly, etc. Well, can we use this technique for the treatment of cancer? All of your cells, including cancer cells, require oxygen to survive. However, tumors in the body frequently overrun their oxygen supply. Instead of dying from a lack of oxygen, certain cancer cells can grow and even resist treatment. Hyperbaric oxygen, which floods your system with concentrated oxygen in your bloodstream, can help make cancer cells easier to destroy with therapies like chemotherapy and radiation, while also triggering your body's healing process. Other advantages of hyperbaric oxygen therapy for cancer treatment include causing the formation of new blood cells, so increasing the supply of blood and nutrients to your tissue, increasing the effectiveness of your white blood cells in preventing infection and killing bacteria, reducing pressure, swelling, or pain at the location of your cancer. Now let's look at the working of HBOT. By supplying oxygen-rich plasma to tissues deficient in oxygen, damage to the body's blood vessels from wounds results in the discharge of fluid, which seeps into the tissues and causes swelling. As a result of the swelling, depriving the injured cells of oxygen, tissues begin to deteriorate. While supplying the tissues with oxygen, HBOT lowers swelling. The chamber's increased pressure raises the blood's oxygen content. With HBOT, the vicious cycle of swelling, oxygen deprivation, and tissue death is broken. It avoids reperfusion damage. When the blood supply to the tissues is restored after they have been depleted of oxygen, serious tissue damage takes place. For example, when a crush injury interrupts blood flow, a chain of events inside the damaged cells causes the generation of dangerous oxygen radicals. These chemicals have the potential to harm tissues permanently. They stop the blood flow by causing the blood vessels to constrict. HBOT helps the body's oxygen radical scavengers find the problematic molecules and promotes repair. HBOT fortifies the immune system of the body and aids in preventing the action of hazardous germs. Certain bacteria's toxins can be neutralized by HBOT. It raises the tissue's oxygen saturation level. Thus, they can ward against infections. The treatment also enhances white blood cells capacity to identify and eliminate invaders. It promotes the growth of new skin cells and collagen. It does this by promoting the development of new blood vessels. Additionally, it encourages the production of specific compounds by cells, such as vascular endothelial growth factor. Endothelial cells necessary for healing are drawn to and stimulated by them. 
The two types of chambers used in HBOT are... Monoplace. A single person can fit in this chamber. It looks like an MRI machine and is a long plastic tube. The patient enters the chamber covertly. 100% oxygen is steadily added to the pressure. Multiplace. There can be two or more people in this chamber at once. Most of the treatment is the same. People now breathe pure oxygen through masks or hoods, which is the difference. You might receive the procedure while being accompanied by a technician in the chamber. Depending on the cause of the treatment, sessions can range anywhere from 45 minutes to 300 minutes. This process is painless, but when the pressure is increased, your ears may feel plugged such as in an airplane or in the mountains. Swallowing, yawning, or chewing gum will restore normal hearing. Your blood transports the extra oxygen throughout your body, infusing wounded tissues that require more oxygen to begin healing. You may feel dizzy or hungry after completing a session. Claustrophobia, tiredness, and headaches are among the minor adverse effects. Not everyone should receive hyperbaric oxygen therapy. People who recently underwent ear surgery, had a cold or fever, or have certain forms of lung problems should not use it. Middle ear injury is the most frequent consequence following HBOT. Eye injury, lung collapse, low blood sugar, and sinus issues are further potential concerns. In rare, serious circumstances, a person can experience oxygen poisoning. The choice to undergo hyperbaric oxygen therapy must be carefully considered. HBOT should only be used for approved purposes. Otherwise, a person may lose time and money while also risking adverse consequences.